we're here in Miami right now. What are you guys excited about for this week? Well, of course, I'm always most excited about seeing all our people that are here from all corners of the globe. So just time to see them and connect with them and hear what's going on around the world. It is just, it's been amazing and like, so that opening night with everyone saying prayers in their own, and Bible reading in their own language, just it blew my mind. I've been loving worshiping with everyone and just hearing so many scriptures being read in more languages than I've ever heard in my life all at once. Or how long did it take you to get here? It is 12 plus two is 14 hours. Four hours. Uh, so it was nine hour flight. Uh, three days and my arms got pretty tired. He flew himself apparently. About nine hours I think, yeah. It was four hours from Denver. Uh, where what are you from by the way? I'm from Ethiopia. So from Britain. Korea, South Korea. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. So cool. I have a friend there. How long have you been working for Youth for Christ? A long time, almost 34 years. 36, I think. I think about 50 years. No, uh, 45 years. Yes. I'm speechless. How long have you been in YFC? How many years? Uh, seven days. Seven days. Seven days stay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can you teach me how to say something? How can I say hello? Han uh, Han 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 why do you come to GA, conferences like this? What are you excited about? Ultimately hearing stories um, and seeing that the same God is doing a whole bunch of different things throughout the world in different contexts and just being encouraged. First of all, they inspire you uh, with new ideas. So meeting uh, brothers and sisters from all over the world, and this is unique for me. Neil O'Boyle, this is my coach, Sage. What are some trends right now in Youth for Christ that you see? One thing that stands out. We all love Jesus. We're not scared of new things. Uh, I think we all like cheesecake. Uh, always a lot of fun. What are some trends that you're seeing right now? Well, what I think I'm most excited about is just seeing how our people are ingenuitive in finding new ways to reach young people. The encouraging things I see around the world are uh, a far greater willingness to work together. Can I give you a truth or dare? Any ideas? Oh. A truth or dare? I'll give you a dare. Your dare is to go hug that guy right there. This guy? Yeah. <laughs> you can give me a dare. Okay. My dare for you is to uh, play rock, paper, scissors with this gentleman in the green shirt. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors wins. Going to a session? What kind of dare is that? He wants a reception. <laughs> Neil, dare me to go hug the reception person. My dare for you is to, do you have your phone on you? Okay, it's to ask someone for a selfie. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'd love to take a selfie with you. I've heard you're the third culture kid guy. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it worked, it worked, guys. Yay, I won my dare. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you have it, guys. GA brings people together. Thanks for your interview. This is good. Where's your thumb? <laughs> Round two. This is how Youth for Christ interviews. Signing out, Laura. <laughs> that was good.